Welcome to our Orb Composer tutorial series brought to you by Hexachords. I am Benjamin, Creative Director for the Music Factory, and in this episode we will be showing you how you can make your very first track in Orb Composer version 1.1. This tutorial will assume that you have already set up your DAW template and mapped and loaded all VST or instrument sample libraries. If you're not sure how to do this, you can visit www.orb-composer.com forward slash manuals and download a Getting Started Guide. When you first open Orb Composer, you will be presented with six different templates. In this case, we will hit the Cancel button in order to open up the empty template, which allows us to input any instruments we would like into our project. On the left, you will see Blocks, which allow you to input music through the artificial intelligence. We have intro blocks, theme blocks, eight different variations of themes, two transition blocks, and two ending blocks. At the top, you will see different artificial intelligence generation tools. You'll also see a timestamp, transport controls, and of course, song controls, such as your key signature, time signature, and beats per minute. The first thing we'll be doing is changing our beats per minute. Then we will change our key signature to something we like. Next, we're going to drop in blocks. First, we'll choose an intro, a theme block, and an ending block. Now that you've placed the blocks, you can do any editing by clicking on the four lines above the blocks. Editing any of these parameters will only change that particular block and nothing else. Next, we will choose our phrasing by clicking on the three connected squares on the far left. Phrasing allows you to choose various things such as the number of bars per block and how the melodies and harmonies are generated, such as questions and answers and standard. To change the number of bars in a particular block, simply type in the number in the top. And then you can simply drag and drop the block structure into the block structure section in your timeline. Next, we will choose our chords. Simply click on the chord wheel on the left to open up the chords panel. As you can see, there are many different types of default chord progressions, such as cinematic fantastical, antagonism, danger, evil, and many others, as well as many various types of custom cadences, plagal cadences, perfect cadences, etc. Next, we will choose our instrumentation. To do this, simply click on the piano icon on the far left, and you can choose and search any instrument you want in this panel. Simply drag and drop the instrument into the bottom part of the timeline, and then you're good to go. Orb Composer will intuitively write music for the instruments that you choose. The last step is to engage the AI by simply clicking one of the buttons on the top, in this case, we're going to be clicking on the first button to generate notes and instruments only because we don't want to generate chords as we've already created those chords ourselves. This will only create new instruments and note choices for all blocks. This will then create your very first Orb Composer song. Next, we're going to be looking at the full orchestra template. The full orchestra template comes default with an entire orchestra. Just as before, we choose our key signature, beats per minute, and then start importing blocks. Just as before, we will choose how many bars per block,
However, unlike before, now we don't have to import any instruments. And you'll also notice that if you adjust any of the curves, Orb Composer will begin immediately generating music. Intensity, momentum, and space curves allow you to change different aspects of how the instruments are played. A higher intensity curve will cause instruments to play louder, a higher momentum curve will cause them to play more rhythmically and complex, and a higher space curve will cause more instruments to play at the same time. By double-clicking on any instrument, you can change aspects of that instrument, such as its articulation, its roll, its register, or its rhythm for that particular segment. The final step in getting your finalized Orb Composer project song ready for editing is to open up and prepare your DAW. In your DAW, make sure that your tempo and time signatures match that of your Orb Composer project. Then make sure all of your instrument tracks are ready to record. And finally, simply hit the record button and watch it go. In some DAWs, such as me using Studio One, you may notice some weird offsets of your recording. You may need to change some of your MIDI offset recording settings or other settings in your DAW as well. For that, consult your user manual for your particular DAW. To fix this, simply highlight all of the MIDI segments and move everything over to the appropriate space. And now you're ready to begin editing your very first Orb Composer song. Hopefully you found this video helpful. To get your copy of Orb Composer software, visit www.orb-composer.com. Here you can download your free, fully functioning demo, or purchase the artist or pro versions of our software.